Welcome back to another long-winded edition eat my shorts right here at the uh, rant and share smoking another palm all right before bed mom got home spoiled the fun it was nice and quiet and she shoved back up so I have to go deal with that but um, as we all know that the whole being prepared thing and being a gun person thing it, there is a lot of overlap in my audience and my demographic which I support all of you savages and heathens and freedom-minded party animals alike. Uh, thank you for all the love and the support, the thumbs up, the comments, the, the funny shit, you know, whatever else. You know, you make the day fun, right? Not quite to the extent the missus does, but, you know, we make do. Uh, a lot of gun channels and other channels and regular channels and everybody in the free world right now is getting on what's called the bug out bag craze, right? I guess I might as well throw my 10 cents worth in because, you know, I've got five times the amount of opinions today apparently everybody else does, so what the fuck. I am anti-bug out in the sense that if I am home where all my junk is, well, most all of my junk, and I'm not going to get into the whole stash and shit for later thing. That's that's neither here nor there for this argument. I am home where all my shit is, right? Everything I need in this house survive for God knows how long until when I have to leave or, you know, go off, fight, do whatever, okay? <clears throat> I do have a, a bag of doom, if you will. And it's got various sundries and gear and accoutrements and reloads. Uh, I, d I did a what's in the bag short, one of my first videos I did on the YouTube, so you can go back and find it if you're really that curious to see what I keep in my damn bag. Uh, it's random trinkets and tweaky junk and things of nature to uh, simplify the, the whole um, extended stay outside process on the way to and from point A or B, right? Or to go see ourselves to our fate, right? We don't know, right? That's that's the big thing, right? In the preparedness community, we don't know. That, that should be your fucking slogan. We, we just don't know, folks, right? <clears throat> I say it all the time. It's kind of a joke, okay? Just like the eat my shorts thing. Like, it's just, it's, it's fucking, it's part of the show, okay? <laughs> don't read too much into it, you know? I try and keep shit loose around here. Of course, Mishiko, you know, anybody who knows gun channels knows who the fuck Mishiko is. Mishko does some cool shit. And lately he's had his uh, nephew, cousin, whatever the fuck he is, uh, Fox, on there. And today, if you don't know, and, uh, you don't keep up with Mishko, go watch his uh, bug out bag video. It's, it's kind of entertaining, you know. It's got some of the basics that all of us have been talking about for decades. But, um, I have a different philosophy. Any and all of my travels are within five miles of this home. Okay, so if my car breaks down or trouble happens, I have everything in my pockets, yes, even in my shorts, the official Eat My Shorts shorts of the Eat My Shorts network, okay? Any given place I have in my pockets between my shirt and my shorts, what I need to survive. Handgun in holster with plenty of ammunition, wallet, keys, cigarettes, lighter, pocket knife, along with good shoes and weather-appropriate clothing. And on my way home through this town and neighboring area, between five and ten miles, I can get there. Yeah. Within the five or ten miles, however big the circle is, right, you know, I can get there with the, just the clothes on my back, right? There's going to be no shelter in place. It's just beat feet home, okay? Now, if I'm going to be out of this area, I, I throw the bag of doom in the trunk of my car, which has enough shit for me to get by for a minimum of three days <clears throat> to get wherever I'm going, whether it be to appropriate myself better transportation, hitch a ride with somebody, hike at home, hike it away from home, we just don't know, right? And that has several reloads for my handgun, a couple reloads for my rifle, shit like that. Among various other survival sundries and trinkets and crap and things like that. Now, in my general daily travels, I'm not a very spontaneous person. I have a set route. It's like I'm going to the place, I'm going to get the thing, I'm going to run the errand, and I'm going to the home. Okay? 
I don't go out. I don't fuck around in the public. I don't like other people. Yeah, ask the missus. I don't like any human beings, okay? I tolerate her because she's wonderful, sexy, smart, funny, and, I, and I'm going to have many children with her the first chance I get to lay my filthy mitts on her. Yeah, I digress. Okay? And, and I'm not anti-being prepared. I'm not anti-having, like, a bag of doom to carry around with you, if, especially if you travel a lot. I think it's a very fucking brilliant idea. You know, especially if you get caught out in a rainstorm or your car breaks down or insert random fetishized fantasy about the world ending. Like, I get it. Like, I totally get it. <clears throat> but in my daily life, in, in my set circumstances, in my area, you know, for my threat assessment, like, generally the shit that I keep in my pants, or in this case the official eat the shorts of the eat my shorts network, right, are enough to get me by. Okay, I, I am a, a lifelong smoker. I, I've smoked 20 years. I can set anything on fire, even without a lighter, if I need a cigarette bad enough. I'm not worried about starting a fire, okay? On the same note, I'm not worried about somebody trying to get the better on me, you know, and lay down an ambush of fire, and me only having 15 plus 1 in my 9mm. I'm a little bit more gifted than the average shooter, and we'll just kind of leave it there. Even under pressure, I've paid the debt that way. And, you know, of course, the wallet, the keys. And, of course, you know, your normal stuff, right? But I think right now there is a trend going around because a lot of people that didn't get on the four years ago being prepared bandwagon are starting out. And some of you may be watching. You think, oh, I need about 300 bucks worth of shit in my bag, plus a $300 bag, plus this, plus I just just slow your roll. You don't have to spend a bunch of money to be prepared, okay? Work on the skills, right? Know your land navigation, right? Know your area. Know how to get where you need to go to get your shit, right? That's number one. Know where the fuck you are and know what you're doing. Number two is, can I get home effectively? And can I defend myself? And number three would be your food, your water, your random tools to feather stick and do all the things and stuff and, you know, random stuffage in the bag, right? Well, yes, I do carry a bunch of random shit in my bag, and yes, I do know how to use everything in the bag, but do I carry the bag with me? No. Not unless I'm going within, like, a ten-mile circle of this house, okay? Or unless my threat level is, like, that high that it's like, you know what? I'm not going to be able to make it home. I'm just going to DD the fuck out of here and sort my shit out later. Like, so these are things to consider. I don't know. I'm sure most of you are sick of the sound of my own voice. I'm sick of the sound of my own voice today. I've been talking all fucking day to the internet because I've had nothing better to do, and it's been quiet around here. And I've had wonderful ideas, ranging from, you know, laying down ambush and suppressive fire to picking effective targets, all the way to shitty 90s movies, and then that got me started on the whole Cobra firearms debacle, and I had a couple of good rants about that, and the Hayes Code and John Wayne, and the list goes the fuck on, you know? It, Y'all that stick around know my random bullshit. It just, it's one of them things. It's part of the fun. And uh, some of you who are new here may not understand the method of madness. I don't always talk this much. In fact, I usually go the whole day without saying two words, except it might be my cell phone. So, as always, if you don't like what I have to say about the bag of doom, uh, eat my shorts. And have a good night.